Hello. What I'm going to do is show you guys how I apply it because um, it's not one of those things because my hair is already color treated. It was virgin when I bleached it and toned it last summer. Virgin hair is like, you know, no color, no keratin application, no nothing. Um, so it's been lifted several times, which makes it a slightly more porous. Everything that is the regrowth is all virgin. So there's a, there's a process to this. I'm going to separate into four sections. I want to explain to you guys the reasoning for my application. I'm going to go for the midsection, despite the fact that it has already been treated because you don't want hot roots. If you don't know what hot roots are, it's when you apply a color or a bleach to directly to your scalp. And um, because of the heat of your body, heat speeds up the process of um, penetration or lifting of a color or a bleach. Therefore, hot roots and it becomes a little lighter than um, the intended outcome. It becomes lighter because, um, let's see here, because of the actual developer inside of, you know, the color and or bleach. Um, the back sections are slightly bigger, which will take longer to develop as well. You have to think about where you're going to start and where you're going to end. You don't want to just slap it on and start in places without a plan ahead of time. It is easier to work in sections whether you are doing it um, bleach or just, you know, one color application. How's y'all's weekend been? You always want to make sure that you have a towel down. I always suggest having a uh, white tooth, tooth comb is great for all things. Always have a white tooth comb that we are going to apply in, like I'm not going to apply to the root. I'm going to start mid shaft, work my way down, kind of leave the ends out work my way around the head and then do kind of like the roots and then pull through the ends. I know it sounds very complicated. It's just a matter of you got to think of where the most porous parts of your hair are and you want to take those, you want to apply to those portions very last because they will grab that color, but they will also be so open that if you don't leave it on long enough, it'll wash right out. doing like where I'm applying it I'm not going directly up against the root and I won't until after I make it through all sections um, and then at the very end we're gonna pull it through all the ends and that makes it just the easiest part because all of the ends are exposed and you can see where you need to place it
in this section. Boom. So what we will do now is twist that up, let that develop as we can see it already has started to. trying to establish my own rather than rather than doing the same thing that all influencers are doing so I don't want to just stick with one here we go we're gonna do our makeup today and, and tell talk about a, a story or here we go we're gonna do our makeup today and we're gonna talk about this like I want to do a variety of everything so please leave me some comments because I'm I'm in the beginning stages of of what I'm doing on YouTube and I love doing YouTube I love being alone in my room talking to you guys and doing what I love which is hair and makeup you know there's nothing better than that so if you have suggestions, if you want me to do, say, hey, like I saw this product, can you go out and get it and review it and tell me what you think of it before I should buy it? Like, you know, whatever it is, please, please, by all means, leave comments, 
leave suggestions. I will read them all. I will respond to them all. I will do what I need to do to make my channel an enjoyable channel, channel, channel to watch, you know? In the very beginning, I was so shy and like, now it feels very natural to do this because once I started having some success, like for instance, I think I talked about this in my last video. Um, my very first repost for, you know, getting back into the game, I was so quiet and timid and, and St. Tropez themselves, if you look at the comment underneath that video, St. Tropez themselves commented on that video. And I was like, what? Like I was so excited and I think it has somewhere upwards of, you know, it's got several hundred views, if not a little over a thousand views. And then the other one is obviously the ambassador sunglasses one. So I was, I just, those things are major to me. Like, I love that. I love that. So I just, I want feedback. I want to be better. So if you do have suggestions, please, Please don't hesitate, even if they're negative. That's okay. I can always get better. You know? We're gonna do, because this is the most porous part right here. For anybody that uses hot tools, I know I have like flares or whatever when I wake up in the morning to so this first place I go to. So I'm going to do that very last. And I'm going to start up here and work my way down. Can't miss sections, guys. Just kidding. And there we go.
Okay. I just did that to get the little flakies out of the way. But we're gonna go to the back roots, which I'm just gonna literally start rubbing it around like like shampoo boo shampoo I'm gonna have so much dye on my face it's not even funny so I have a towel on my brand new chair I need a makeup setup and I need a work setup Come on here. There we go. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do I'm gonna do the border first. And then I'm gonna go in to where I had sectioned because they're still gonna be there because of the, just because of all the dye. Having sectioned it off itself. not coming from professionals forewarning not coming from professionals And now I'm hoping for the grand finale. I do still see some long spots at the very end. And that's a good thing because then we're gonna pull it all on through. We got the perfect amount left. I get little stray hairs that tickle my arms. Right, baby, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay. So now, approximately 25 minutes just because it has been lifted and I don't want it to damage the hair. Holy crap. You guys want to see my legs? <laughs> Stop it right now. I 
just wanted to protect my chair. I was successful at it though. That is hysterical. Next time you see me, it's gonna be washed out. So this is the 